See that shit there? That. That's the sort of shit you end up losing when you don't fucking pay Wonga back. So just fucking pay him. Because if you don't pay, we're going to fucking take it away. Okay. So today's first job is to pick up a uh, car off a guy called Peter File. So we'll go and do that now. This is the office where I work from. Just like to aimlessly wander around in circles and here. Gets me to uh, clear the crack out of my head, to be honest, before I steal shit. I mean, repossess it. So here we are, on the way to Mr. File's house. We're going to um, go and see if we can find him. I mean, obviously, if possible, if we can get some money off him, then we'll take cash off him to settle the three and a half thousand pound debt but um, seeing as he's an heroin addict I very highly doubt that so we're probably going to uh, repossess some of his goods and if he has no money for that his organs I'm afraid I have the tools in the back the surgical kit Okay, so it turns out we found the smackhead on the nod. Uh, he's passed out behind the wheel of his car. So the idea is we're going to get this baghead bastard. I'm going to drag him out and leave him in the fucking road asleep. We'll take his car, sell it, and settle the debt. Get out, you baghead twat! Thank you very much, Mr. File. And this is the garage of Kevin Webster, paedophile extraordinaire, but he does wicked things with car and he's going to buy this bag of shit even though it's fucked up. Look at it, it's fucked, but he'll still buy it. Good old Kev. 